हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम अगेन टू दिस न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ शेक हैंड विद लाइफ आई एम नरेंद्र शर्मा इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू व्हाट इज क्लासिकल और ऑब्जेक्टिव अप्रोच ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी राइट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट एंड दिस इज द फंडामेंटल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस वीडियो दैट वट इज द क्लासिकल और फंडामेंटल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी एंड वाई इट इज नेसेसरी so let's start with this with the definition of classical approach to probability so what is the classical definition of the probability so the probability of an event this is the classical definition the probability of an event is simply the ratio of favorable outcomes to the total number of equally likely outcomes so what is equally likely equally likely means each outcome has equal chance to occur so if we have six numbers on a die and if we roll that die then we have equal chance to surface each number right so the classical approach to probability is based on symmetry of games of chance to similar situations like playing cards rolling a die why because because of the origin of the theory of probability was in gambling gambling games like playing cards so the theory of probability originated from the gambling games that's why the classical approach of the probability is based on the symmetry of games of chance to similar situations it is also known as objective probability or priori concept of the probability and it is appropriate it is suitable for gambling situations or gambling games like playing cards right now we understand the classical approach of probability or classical approach to probability mathematically so the probability of occurrence of an event a is given by pa if we have an event and if we want to calculate the probability for occurrence of that event then the probability for that event pa is known as pa so mathematically pa equal to p simply p we can assign a simple or normal p for that event probability of occurrence and that equal to m divided by n where m is equal to number of favorable outcomes and n equal to total number of possible outcomes right to understand the total number of possible outcomes you can watch my previous video of probability you can find the link in the i mark above and in the description below right now if you want to calculate the probability of non occurrence of an event a then what it is it is given by pa bar so pa bar equal to that can be represented by q pa bar can also be represented by q and this equal to 1 minus pa right and this equal to 1 minus m by n right so this is the probability of non occurrence of an event and pa is the p a equal to m by n is the probability of occurrence of an event and p a bar is the probability of non occurrence of an event so we have a diagram here so this is the probability in white circle we have the probability for an event a and if we want to find out the probability of non occurrence of that event then we have p a bar equal to 1 minus p a in this rectangle right okay now we understand the total probability total probability for classical approach classical approach to probability classical definition of to probability or classical definition or objective definition of probability so suppose probability of happening of an event a is called as success and it is denoted by 
P. Suppose we denote the success with P. Happening of an event A. Right. And the probability of non-happening of an event A is called as failure. And we denote this with Q. Happening of an event A is known as success denoted by P. And non-happening of an event A is known as failure and denoted by Q. Then the total probability is equal to the sum of P plus Q. That means P plus Q equal to 1. Right. The total prob probability is always equal to 1. Right. Hence the value of P lies between 0 and 1. 0 means non-occurrence of an event. When there is no chance to occur of an event. And 1 means there is a certain chance to occurrence of that event. Right. Therefore the value of P always lies between 0 and 1. Right. So here we have a diagram. In this diagram the white circle is 4. The probability of happening of an event A and the rest of the rectangle is 4 the failure of that event that means non happening of an event a right so this equal to q is equal to 1 minus p and this the total probability is equal to 1 which is the area of this rectangle right and p is the area of this circle happening of an event a then if we want to calculate the non happening of an event a probability for non happening of an event a then we have q equal to 1 minus p and the total is equal to p plus q equal to 1 total is equal to 1 which is p plus q right this is the total probability okay so the conclusion is that if an event a can happen in m ways and fail to happen in n ways so the success is happening in m ways and failure is happening in n ways for an event A. Therefore the probability of happening of an event A equal to m divided by m plus n and the probability of failure of an event A equal to n divided by m plus n. So m equal to number of outcomes favorable to happening of an event A and n number of outcomes not favorable to happening of an event A. That means the failure of event A and therefore m plus n equal to total number of equally likely outcomes or total possible outcomes. Right. Now we understand the classical approach or classical definition of probability with a few examples. So let's take the first example tossing of a coin. So event A is getting head. Happening of event A is getting head. When we toss a coin, we get a head. This is our event. So the total outcomes equal to 2. Either we get head or we get tail. These are the two possible outcomes, total outcomes, right? And what we want? We want a head. That means if we get head, that means we, that means we get success, right? So the success is getting a head. So the favorable outcomes equal to 1 which is head. Therefore the probability of getting a head equal to P A equal to 1 by 2. Favorable outcomes divided by the total outcomes. So this is 1 by 2. And the probability of not getting head that means if we get a tail that means we get a failure. And in this, this case, the probability of not getting head, this is equal to QA equal to 1 minus PA equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 equal to 1 by 2. So we have half and half. When we toss a coin, we have equal probability for getting a head and getting a tail when we toss a coin. 
Let's take another example. A box contains 500 items, right? In which five items are defective items. And one item is picked at random from the box by the quality checker. A quality checker comes and pick a item randomly. So what we want to know, what are the chances that the item picked is defective item and the item picked is not a defective item. We want to calculate the two things. Either the item, what is the probability of getting a defective item and what is the probability of getting of not getting a defective item or okay part what is the probability of getting a defective item or what is the probability of not getting a defective item right suppose the event of an item picked is a defective item and it is denoted by a if the quality checker gets a defective item then this event is denoted by a here we have the total number of items in the box equal to 500 and we denote this by n the total number of defective items in the box that is total number of defective items how many defective items are there five and these are the favorable cases so m equal to five now the probability that the item is defective P A equal to M divided by N. M is the defective favorable outcomes, favorable cases. So M equal to 5 and N the total number of items in the box. So 5 divided by 500. We get 1 by 100 and we get 0 0.01. That means the quality checker has 1% 1 1 chance to get a defective items get a defective item right and the probability that the item is not defective so we subtract p a from 1 so p a bar equal to 1 minus p a and we get 1 minus 0 0.01 this equal to 0 0.99 and we get 99 percent so the item is not defective item when a quality checker picks an item from the box and it is not defective item the probability is 99 percent so this is the classical approach when we have a game theory or we have equal chances or gaming chances so this is the classical approach or fundamental approach of probability so this was the concept of classical probability if you have any question or suggestions or if you have any doubt, then please do write your feedback in the comment section below. If you really enjoyed this video, then hit the like button and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe Shake Hand With Life YouTube channel and hit the bell to get the notifications of my latest video lectures. If you want to download the course notes and ebooks in PDF, then please follow the link given in the description below. You may visit to my website www.shakehandwithlife.in. This is Narendra Sharma signing off. We'll see you soon in my next video with a new topic of probability.